What's happening guys, it's B-Rad and welcome to another episode of the Foot Eliminator series. Now today we are going to be doing this on Valverde. Not only that, we're going to be opening our second player up from the 90 plus TOTS pack. Now the one thing I just want to say just before we get into this video is that um, I was obviously looking to do a graph to a draft series knowing that the preseason promo was coming out. Now obviously with the graph to a draft it basically relies on people opening packs at the time so that I can undercut any snipes and make 15,000 coins from sniping on players that people are putting into the market. Now as you see on the screen this is Saturday afternoon, the market at the moment is around 560,000 so it's around about the normal market that it was during the sort of summer heat. The problem we've got, so let's go and have a look at the probabilities on the premium gold pack. Now as I scroll here, look at this, a less than 1% chance of getting all the new players that have been put into the pack during the preseason promo. Now obviously that will increase a little bit with some of the higher packs but what I don't get is that probability could be 0.9% so you get maybe 1 in 101 packs or that could be 0.0000009 so you could get one in a million packs now it's the first of august today why is it so bad why are the pack probabilities so poor that basically people are going to be spending money again on packs and already we've established that there is a problem with this sort of gray area of gambling where people are spending their money on FIFA points to get packs and these are the rewards they're getting or not getting. It's ridiculous. In August, the pack probability should definitely be higher. Yes, it will crash the market, but at this time, who really cares? All we want to see is special players in packs. During the Summer Heat promo, probably the best promo of the year. I would like them to do something a little bit similar maybe earlier in the year, like during Winter Refresh, where actually the, some cards are out for SBCs that are boosted a little bit more than just two or three ratings like they normally are. It's just ridiculous, and, and it just again shows that it's a, an EA money-making scam to try and encourage people to buy packs, but not only that, they're not going to get rewarded for it. And then we go to the preseason promo, looking ahead to FIFA 21, and what are we getting? An engine and an anchor card? A coin unlock it's not good enough EA it's not good enough it doesn't keep us wanting to play this game whatever happens people are gonna buy FIFA 21 but you want your customers to enjoy the product so really sort it out listen to some of your customers listen to some of the youtubers listen to your game changes this is not what we want anyway enough of all that babbling let's go in and get the Valverde so I've got a team in here that I am submitting. I think I bought two of these players to go in this team, which were the Lopez and Onana. Bought them to complete this team. We'll go and get him. He looks incredible, but obviously they are 2-1 down to Man City at the moment. So it's not likely that he's going to get an upgrade. But even so, he looks like a really good midfielder. Let's go and see him walk out. I love the pack design on this. I think the I think the card design is really good on these cards. Um, and I'd like the idea generally, the UCL Live and UEL Live cards. I think they're really good. Let's have a look at him. So he's medium, medium, six foot, three star, three star, which is a bit of a shame, but generally looks like a really good card. As the midfielder CM for 93 dribbling, 93 passing, he looks like it'll be a great card. And I'm looking forward to doing the episode on him today. Let's go ahead and get the second player from the TOTS pack. And then we'll go and get him put him to a squad and see what formation we're going to get. 90 plus team of the season so far player. I've got a few untradeables, so I'm hoping that we don't get one of those. Allison would be a shame. But let's see something even better than Allison. French, come on. Oh, Savanier. Ah, it's not a very good one, and it's two centre mids as well. This could be, I mean, it's not terrible for the squad building, but it's just a shame. You want something a little bit better than that, but it's fine. I'm going to go ahead, put Savanier and Valverde into the squad, and then we will get a formation. Okay, so there they are in the squad. We are going to get our formation now. 
So let's go and jumble these formations in the pot here. And after I've got this formation, I will pop the rules up so you can see how the series works. And I'm going to be running with today, oh, the 5-2-2-1. Two, two, not the greatest formation, not one I would want to play. Let's get it up on the screen. 5 2 2 one, so they're playing directly next to each other. Not ideal at all. Okay. Now I'm going to just pop the rules up on the screen just while I talk for this little bit. But basically now I've got this on the screen. What is going to happen is this is the part where I'm now going to be building a three league hybrid with a minimum of two players from each of those leagues. And also it's got to be a minimum of three nations. I'm only allowed to use one icon as well. Then what's happened, once I've got the team, I pull out the marquee player, the second marquee player, which is obviously Savanier. Then I'm going to choose a player that I want a safety net, pop those onto the subs bench, jumble my team up, and hopefully we're going to take to Twitter then for them to choose three positions in the spaces that are left in that squad. If they hit a blank space, it's a miss. If they hit one of my players, that's a hit. It gets replaced with a bronze, and I then go and play a game with the team I've got less and obviously at the end the goal difference does equal the discards so without any further delay what i'm going to do is go and set myself up a five minute timer and five minutes to build the squad we'll start in three two one go okay so i'm thinking probably an icon at this top spot and it would oh actually i was thinking an icon but how can i not use team of the year mbappe if he was to get a hit in the discards then I would uh, get rid of the, the lowest Mbappe card there is, so just his normal gold rare. Uh, but I can't not use him, which means I'm going to have to use some Real Madrid strong links here. I've got the upgraded Eden Militao now. Um, packed him in the 88 pluses, so we'll go and use him. Let's see if I can get... I'll maybe get Lamar here. Let's get that birthday Lamar. I've never used him before. So he's an interesting one for me to use. He's not going to show up as a bronze. He's not going to show up as a left wing either. Right, is that the... That's the foot birthday one. So we'll put him in there. Never used him before, so that would be quite fun. And then I do need another strong link. Uh, so we'll go and use... I know it's a little bit predictable. And maybe a little bit boring. But it does mean I can do a few other things. I'm going to go and use Mendy. Uh, I've got his footmas card there. Then I just need any La Liga centre back. So, um, who have we got? Anyone in the squad? Anyone in the club at all? Lengley? Why not? It's a lot of French, a lot of Brazilians. Let's get away with that from the nations now. Maybe down here we'll go. We'll go. Hmm. Savanier needs links as well, though. Right, Lengley's sorted. Eddie Miller Tower needs chemistry. I've got, I'm going to use my team of the season, Allison, because I haven't used him yet. So if we put Allison in there, and then I need a Brazilian from the Prem. I've got flashback David Luiz. Let's use him. No rules on loans or anything in here, and as I say, I will be discarding the base card if I do uh, manage to lose those. Uh, so now that's Edin Militao on full cam. Two and a half minutes gone nearly. So David Luiz doesn't need any more links. So actually that's just now for me to get Savanier on chemistry. So. Lala is there. I feel like I've used Lala a lot recently, um, but I don't think there is anyone else to use. Is there a French in the Prem that I could use maybe that would... Sadibe is a bit of a meme at the moment. If any of you guys watch any of the other YouTubers, why not? Let's go and stick... Sadibe or Sabide as he's uh, otherwise known in other programs. Then it needs to be a French right winger from 
Um, I think from the... Let's just check. I do think it's going to be... Yeah, I can't... I can't use my foot birthday St. Maximum. That is a shame. I could if I used Lala. Do you know what I'm going to do? It. I was going to use Sadibe because obviously, like I say, he is a big meme at the moment. Um, but I want to use my St. Maxim. Because um, I don't get to use him. So we'll use Team of the Season so far, Lala. Rather than the normal one. Let's go and put some coins on the line. I like that. I think that's quite a nice team. Um... I'm sorry that it does only just cut the nations in terms of the fact that Valverde gives us our third nation and the rest of it is French and Brazilian. But I think it's a really good looking team. Um, yeah, and there's 37 seconds left. I'm not going to look to change it now. Everybody's on full cam. I'm going to stop the timer. Okay, so now I've stopped the timer. What I am going to be doing is going to be taking a picture of this team for Twitter. And I'm going to ask in the formation of the 5-2-2-1 for someone to pick three positions within that squad. I will then jumble my team up. I'll go back to Twitter, see what positions have been picked, and we'll see what I'm going to be losing. Okay, so you're joining us back here where I have jumbled the team up and I've removed not just the marquee player and the second player, but I decided to remove the foot birthday St. Maxim just because I have packed him and I haven't really tried him out because he doesn't obviously fit into my actual side. I've then got a reply on Twitter, which I haven't seen yet. You'll see there it says, if you can see that on the camera, but I will put it up on the uh, on the screen. So, uh, Reece Scott was the first person to um, like the tweet. So I then put, did you want to pick three players from the formation of the 5-2-2-1? Which he has said, yep, go on then. And he has picked out... Middle centre-back, goalkeeper and striker so my plan was that I was going to leave I left Lamar there because I thought if I lose him he's not too bad but I thought someone might just say three centre backs because that's an easy thing to say so I kept two blank spaces there he has hit Lengley who is a centre back which is not ideal I don't like the fact I've got a bronze centre back we're going to let him know his damage then we're going to go and get into the game and get the team sorted Okay, so here you have it on the screen. We have now finally got all the players bought and this is the team we are running with. Ironically, having to buy Kenny Lala's team of the season considering I packed him untradeable uh, when the uh, La Liga Tots was in packs or La Liga and Tots was in packs. Uh, he's now a massive 139,000 coins. Uh, obviously, I had to buy Lamar as well. He was about 42,000 coins, but generally I'm pretty happy with the team. Just obviously not the fact that we've got a bronze centre-back. At left centre-back, we have... Tachi with a 61 pace, 64 defense, and a 58 physical. He was my lowest rated bronze in the uh, club that is a La Liga. We will now go and get into a game, and as always, like I say, I will be trying to match in friendlies with someone with a roughly equal team. So I'm aware that a lot of people are going to be using these Team of the Year players at the moment, which I don't mind at all. But if everybody's got lone prime icon moments and things like that, then I will be rematching just to obviously make it fair, because at the end of the day, it's my players and my club that is on the line. Let's go get into the game. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so here we go. We have got into a match with the, someone called Latina FC. We're going to go ahead and have a look at the team there and see what he has got. So we're against Pirlo, Pele, Diego, it looks like Douglas Costa, Croy, Ronaldo, Messi, Sakai, Lascelles, Van Dijk, Costa, Kepa. I think we'll go with that because although he has got some icons and has got probably team of the year, Messi and Ronaldo, he has got some players there that aren't obviously the sort of premium players. So similar to me, got some premium players, but also a bronze. Let's go and get into the game. See how we get on. And there we go. Straight away, we have managed to break through with Savanier and we have made it 1-0. Lovely little link-up play. Oh, it's not Savania, it's Valverde. Lovely little link-up play with Mbappe. Lovely back heel from Team of the Year Mbappe. And Valverde puts it away into the left side of the goal. We're 1-0 up. I feel a little bit, a little bit sort of less anxious that we've now got a uh, an Mbappe on the line for the discards at the moment.
That time we have scored with Savanier. Eight minutes in, we're 2-0 up. This couldn't be a better start to the game, to be fair. And that time, Savanier is the one who just dribbles it through. I looked to wait to see how he was going to move his defenders to see if I was going to pass it off or just continue through. He didn't move them. That is an incredible dummy there we've seen from Mbappe to let that go through his legs as well. We are 2-0 up. And 11 minutes in, 3 0 up, team of the year, Mbappe. So that's now Mbappe, Savanier, and Valverde all on the score sheets, our two centre mids, and our striker. I don't really like this formation, but it does seem that actually, with those three as a little triangle going forward, they have, they've really come up trumps. Almost instantly, we are on the on the receiving end of a kickoff goal. There, I did uh, did tackle Ronaldo, but didn't get the ball back. He's cut it across the goal for a tap in with Cruyff, which I'm assuming is going to be the moments. Yeah, the moments from the objectives. Only one loan left on him, interestingly, which means he has used him a fair bit. Savanier should really have capitalised then. That was a great move. Lovely run from Maximum. But he should put it into the side netting. And again, Savanier's dragged that wide after scoring so early on. I thought he looked good. Didn't need to do that, I probably could have scored with him, but I thought I'd just do the little chip into the middle. Got it past the defenders, and Mbappe's rose to head that. I'm surprised that it's gone in, to be fair, with the 50p head that EA have put in this year. But it has got in. We're 4-1 up. This guy's not going anywhere, so we could be seeing this game all the way through. Well, that was a lovely little chip through ball to Mbappe. I thought the volley might get us on the score sheet again. I thought, um, given the fact he's a team of the year, Mbappe, fancied that to go in. It's come out, lucky rebound. Lamar's popped it in, 5-1. We look like we're, we're coasting here. This guy likes to try and just do this, just run through with the players. Um, not sure how much FIFA he's played this year. We know at least six games or or four games with Cruyff. So we go into half time. We are a massive 5 1 up. As far as the formation goes, I really don't like it. Um, we are okay at the back because we are managing to stop him. I've even found my Lamar defending at the back in this formation, given the fact that he's a left wing. That is quite strange. But there is a lot of nice triangular play between the strikers, the two centre mids. For some reason, they call Valverde Tremblay on here. Uh, one of you may be able to drop in the comments as to why that is, if you do know. And there we go. We get another goal back. We've got through with St. Maxim. We just do the little drag back and turn. Cut it inside. And that looks like that is Valverde's second goal there. So, um... Already he's made his mark. Not sure that I'm going to build a team that will fit around him, but at the price that he was, you can't not get this card. And I think there's already another card out as well at the moment. Mkhitaryan looks like a really good card to get. And Roma actually got a chance of progressing further in the Europa League. And as he nearly, very nearly gets his hat-trick, it comes off the post. Again, we're fortunate with the rebound. Rebounds have been a massive thing of FIFA 20 this year. Straight out to our foot birthday, St. Maximum. Who's obviously not going to miss with an open goal from there. 7-1. Feel safe. But it looks like we are playing to the end.
there we go again. Some just no nothing on the trigger for the run fast. Just dribbling around him. He's lunging in with tackles. Finesse for team of the year, Mbappe into the top corner. 8-1. I think at this point we may well cut to the end. And we get a ninth. Lovely little turn, cut inside. Laid it off to Savanier, I think, who has just drilled that into the bottom right hand corner. 9-1. He's had a lot more possession in the last uh, sort of 20 minutes of in-game gameplay. Um, but he's had a couple of long shots of Ronaldo that Alisson's managed to save. And there we go. 9-1. Looking comfortable. No discards for me today. Why not make it double figures? Lovely through ball down the line. We cut inside with St. Maximum with the ball roll onto his left foot. Finesse top corner, 84th minute, 10 1. Fair play to the guy not quitting. I guess um, he must just be enjoying using the game despite the fact that he's getting absolutely smashed. He's dribbled a goal through and got one back, 10-2. I don't think we're in trouble, but he's got another goal back. Fair play. So there we have it. We have got a 10-2 victory there. And to be fair, there's not really a lot I can say about some of the players in the team because we didn't really get a fair matchup in terms of kind of the skill of player we played. But... Valverde seemed really good, always in the right place, good with his pass and obviously he scored a couple of goals which was essential. The one player I actually noticed more than anybody on the pitch, because I'd used him recently when he was an 86, is Eda Militao being boosted to an 89. Seems like he's just got that something a little bit extra right now that makes him a really good player. Obviously people will have his flashback and things like that right now. But I've got his 89 untradeable and actually using him and having that strong link to Valverde, I could probably go ahead and create a really nice team, especially given the price of players at the moment. But anyway, that has been a foot eliminator, 10 to no discards for me today. As always with all my other series, the links to those are down in the description. So the link to my series, Graft to a Draft and Trade to Glory will be down in the description. Also the previous foot eliminator and the previous pack and guests that I do with my wife, Tori will also be down in the description as well. As always with these videos, please smash a like, comment and do subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers we get, I can start doing collabs on the Foot Eliminator series as it is designed to be a collaboration series. So if you do know anybody that wants to get involved in this series, just tell them to send me a message on Twitter at Brad861 and hopefully we can get some collaborations soon. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Brad.